Operation Prosperity Guardian, an important new multinational security operation under the umbrella of the Combined Maritime Forces and the leadership of its Task Force 153, which focuses on security in the Red Sea. Less than a week after the United States announced the formation of a Washington-led major task force to protect and secure maritime traffic, mostly Israeli-owned and Israel-bound merchant vessels, through the Red Sea from attacks by Yemeni Houthi rebels, Operation Prosperity Guardian, or OPG, has already started showing signs of weakening. Major European nations such as France, Italy, and Spain have pulled out of the nearly fully created force touted to include warships from several countries, highlighting the deep divisions between Washington and its European allies so far as the Israel-Hamas war in particular and Middle East politics in general are concerned. On December 21, the U.S. said more than 20 countries had agreed to participate in the U.S.-led anti-Houthi coalition. From the beginning, we said that this is an international challenge that requires collective and international action. And we've been able to bring together now a number of partners, including the United Kingdom, Bahrain, Canada, France, Italy, ne the Netherlands, Norway, Seychelles, Spain, and even more to address this challenge together. While describing the purpose of the task force, the Pentagon said that it would serve as a highway patrol of sorts patrolling the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. The forces assigned to Operation Prosperity Guardian will serve as a highway patrol of sorts, uh, patrolling the Red Sea and, and the Gulf of Aden to respond to and assist as necessary commercial vessels that are transiting this vital international waterway. It's a defensive coalition meant to reassure global shipping and mariners that the international community is there to help with safe passage. However, the strength of the mighty force now seems to be dwindling. France, Italy and Spain have explicitly stated their commitment to operating exclusively under the command of international bodies, such as the United Nations, NATO, or the European Union in international waters. According to Spanish media outlet El Pays, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin included Spain in the U.S. commanded Operation Prosperity Guardian without prior notice to the European nation. The move displeased the Spanish government and triggered tension between Madrid and Washington, which has been accused of trying to dictate Europe's foreign policy. Meanwhile, France's interests in the Middle East are multi-layered. The relationship between France and Lebanon has historical, cultural, and political dimensions. There are fundamental differences between France's relations with Arab countries and the diplomatic posture of the U.S. in the Middle East. That leaves the U.S. with the United Kingdom, Norway, the Netherlands, Greece, Canada, and Australia as nations that are still, officially, on board with the OPG. While the U.S. claims that the coalition was put together to secure the Red Sea, the force didn't contain a single Red Sea country as its member, not even Saudi Arabia, which has fought the Yemeni Houthi for over a decade, leading many to question the potentiality of Operation Prosperity Guardian. Saudi Arabia and Egypt hinted that they did not want to be seen engaging an Arab country in this situation, and hence refused to join OPG, as per an Al Jazeera opinion piece. Most of the Red Sea countries, including Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and Egypt, have criticized the Biden administration's diplomatic, financial, and military backing of Israel and its war on Gaza, as they call for a humanitarian ceasefire in the besieged enclave. America's support for Israel has led to growing animosity from Arab nations, which are key to ensuring peace and security in the Red Sea. In addition to this, some countries have not confirmed their participation in the coalition, while others have said their efforts to help protect Red Sea commercial traffic will be as part of existing naval agreements rather than the new U.S.-led operation, and at least eight countries taking part have declined to be publicly named. China, which already has a self-supported task force of one destroyer and one frigate in the western Indian Ocean, refused to join the U.S.-led naval force. The lack of details and clarity over what countries are doing has added to confusion for shipping companies, some of which have been rerouting vessels away from the area after the Houthi attacks. Houthi, backed by Iran, have made it clear that they would attack all Israel-linked ships on the Red Sea as long as Tel Aviv continues its assault on Gaza, where more than 20,000 Palestinians have been killed, including around 8,000 children since October 7. 
Israel promised vengeance after Hamas carried out a surprise attack inside Israel, killing up to 1,147 people and taking some 240 people hostage, some of whom were released during a brief truce between the two warring parties. In November, the Yemeni rebels seized what they said was an Israeli cargo ship. They since have attacked several commercial vessels with drones and ballistic missiles. Attacks on vessels in the Red Sea imperil traffic on one of the world's most vital shipping lanes, and with it global trade overall. The U.S. Energy Information Administration says 8.8 .8 million barrels of oil a day are shipped through the Red Sea and the Babel Mandib Strait, which is an important choke point where the Indian Ocean funnels into the Red Sea. There are already several navies which are part of international operations to protect shipping lanes in the region, including protecting vessels from pirates who for several years disrupted shipping off the coast of Somalia. Operation Atalanta, set up by European Union Naval Force Somalia, operates off the Horn of Africa and in the Western Indian Ocean to support UN resolutions to protect the seas from piracy. Its headquarters is in Spain. Operation Hegener, a European-led operation which aims to guarantee freedom of navigation and the Strait of Hormuz, a major shipping lane for oil exports from Gulf states. Combined Maritime Forces, a multinational maritime partnership led by the U.S. from Bahrain, the base for the U.S. Navy 5th Fleet. CMF has 39 members, including NATO and European states, regional countries, and other nations. One of its missions is the Combined Task Force 153, CTF-153, which operates in the Red Sea. The approaches of the Babel Mandib Strait are bristling with warships. More than 35 from at least 12 nations that do not border the Red Sea are now in positions from which they could reach the strait in less than 24 hours. Regardless of the number of participating countries, Operation Prosperity Guardian will not be just a simple act of escorting ships through the southern Red Sea. Any such act could at any moment spiral into a major escalation that could easily open another front involving major regional actors.